I mean, two days of the dead week, I haven't done anything. Maybe I really can just chill. Matter of fact, throw me another one. Bad unnecessary purchases? A cosmic brownie? Wait, I didn't eat the brownie. That would be your third. My third? How did that happen? Wait a second. Who are you? Why are you telling me all this? I treat Dead Week like it's my job. What are you going to do? They call me. A sweat. From now on, you will have no motivation, and everything you do will be painfully average. <gasps> Not average! You gotta, you gotta be, be a sweat, a sweat to be one. I've got you beat. Just wait for this episode of. I gotta be a sweat. That's more like it. Welcome to day four. We don't have any time to waste. We gotta go make some content. I'm not gonna be needing you today. I know what I need to do. to sweat. Time to get sweaty. What do you say if you're sweat? Like... <sighs> Let's go make some content. Now this, this is content. I had to pull out the receiver gloves today. My buddy's in town. He's gonna go work out with the private quarterback coach, and uh, we are gonna need to stand in to help out. Jeez. Upon entering the training grounds, a student must be both familiar with and curious of his technique. He must comprehend that there is no such thing as a perfect rep, but you must always seek after it. There will always be a better stance, a stronger base, quicker hands, or lower hips. He must also know that you cannot learn everything at once, and you cannot master anything after one session. It truly takes 10,000 reps. 10,000 consistent reps, no less. If you do 100,000 stances, 100,000 different ways, you are far worse than when you began. An elite competitor will have read their techniques so many times that they have memorized their common mistakes and no longer fall victim to them. They are never comfortable with their progress, however. Instead, they search for the next thing to fix. Every play will start in a stance, so it is important to have mastered a basic stance before moving to anything near complex. 
It will not matter if you can complete an advanced maneuver when you are unable to fight for the line of scrimmage due to a poor stance or a poor get off. Yes! Did you see it? I saw it. We made some content. And some good content too. I felt so good getting out the house and working again. So good. I even started making my bed. And in about um, 30 minutes, so I'm about to go hit the weight room. For the rest of Dead Week, we're going full try hard mode. I'm gonna be a sweat. Now, you might be sat at home watching this, asking yourself, why would he want to do that? Thanks for asking. I have a perfectly logical response. I want to be great. Whether that's in football, music, acting, making YouTube videos, whatever I end up doing, I want to be great at it. And that means I need to put all my energy and all my effort towards it. Because once I get there, I don't want there to be any asterisk next to my name in the books. I don't want there to be any excuses or exceptions. I want to have everything I have and achieve everything I achieve. I achieved because I worked for it. It just feels so much better that way. Is that too much to ask? Anyways, it's time to get this content machine back rolling again. We're about to pump some lead. Do you feel me, brother? Ladies and gentlemen, meet my most recent content machine, fitness extraordinaire, Michael DeLeon. We got an empty gym today, about to hit back and shoulders and record it for the first time. Should be great. For those of you who don't know Michael, he was in probably the second video I ever put on this channel. He also never leaves the gym. He eats here, he showers here, he sleeps here. Pretty much, he goes to school and he lives. And uh, yeah, we, you and me, we're on dead week. So I told him, you know what? Let me see what it's all about. And now we're here. And we're starting with the hex bar. Some light. We gotta warm up too, you know? Let's hit it. Introducing first, in the blue corner, 285 pounds, the hex bar. Introducing next, in the red corner, weighing probably not very much. Going around Michael's wrist, we have wrist straps. Who's gonna win this at the contest? We're about to find out. One pound on here for every day of the week. Will he be able to pull it off? Yes. We will. This video is sponsored by water. Here we see a gym rat in his natural habitat, slowly 
prowling between those different weight limits, hitting a flex in the mirror as any gym rat should do naturally. The mating call of a gym rat is recognized by the sheer amount of veins popping out of their skin with every different pose. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for back and shoulders. Thanks for giving me content. Yeah, we'll be back. Don't even worry about it. Now to head back to the crib and eat. And then came home to a homemade hibachi dinner. Michael Jackson playing in the background. We got the steak, the vegetables, the fried rice, the family, and of course, the sriracha. Can't live without it. Well, I'd say we had a pretty productive day in the office today. Time to finally unwind from football training with the fantasy football draft. Uh, my buddy Elijah set up a league. We're drafting at 9 o'clock. So I got like 45 minutes to prepare. I got to hurry up and do some research. I don't know who's good. <laughs>